Hello everyone and welcome to Knife Review 3000. Today we've got the Leatherman Bond. Um, when I saw the name I was hoping it would have lasers or rockets or some kind of communicator, but no, none of that. Um, Leatherman Bond, one of Leatherman's newest ones. Um, comes in about 50 bucks and for 50 bucks you get a pair of pliers uh, no spring assist and this is a couple days old it's very stiff all three of these uh, joints there are stiff but that'll that'll change with use um, on one side you've got a file and one thing I really like about this file is they've got it on the edge also so um, real nice if you're doing real fine work or have to fit in a small space file something down they've got that edge which is real nice and then the two textures on each side there uh, lanyard loop and then finger nicks to get out a large flathead small flathead and all right there see that and a wire stripper is what they call that these are that right there um let's see on the other side you've got a the standard kind of 420 hc blade little drop point there and it's very to get past that initial detent there um, Phillips head and can slash bottle opener there on that side so that's that's that um, and then you do have the non replaceable blade wire cutters there um, so 50 bucks comes in about five and a half ounces or so so you know not too shabby for something like this um came in this large box I'm surprised how big of a box they used um, and it comes with their newer style sheath there um with the the uh snap instead of the velcro you've seen some of my other videos um, velcro really annoys me so this is much much quieter um, this standard sheath there so that until this wasn't made for this you got cut out for a sidekick or something there but that's that's kind of the Unboxing experience right over here. Um, so here's here's the question: Why? Why did they make this at you know fifty bucks for something that has none of these lock at all? So if you're going to use this knife, very much recommend you close it back up and. Stay out of that area there because if that goes at least at least if you're has it have it like that you're not going to cut yourself if you're up there doing something like that you're going to pinch or cut yourself um, and that goes for everything else if you get a tough tough screw trying to get down one of these guys you know it's it's a it's a fairly strong detent on there this little this little guy snaps in like that um, you know it's fairly strong but if you're prying or trying to get something that's really tough I, I would try to find something with a lock on it or, or just an actual screwdriver because um, that that could be dangerous so um, what was I saying back to why would they make this I yeah, I really have no idea if this really appeals to you please leave a comment 
in below on, on uh, you know what traits you're looking for what what boxes this checks um, and I just say that f because for ten dollars more you could get this guy which has um, blades accessible from you know, the outside one-handed blades with a lock um, and then everything else here you've got the spring assisted pliers which are nice um, yeah for 10 bucks more you, you get you get a good bit more um, a lot of these are not locking you've got a small serrated blade that's not locking these aren't locking um, but at least at least you get a knife that's one-handed and locking from this this guy uh, nothing about this guy is one-handed uh, by the way so, um, so this is 10 bucks more and a pocket clip it does weigh about an ounce and a half more it's about seven ounces um, so there's a little bit more weight but really I mean size wise it's a little thicker there but the the bond is is has a slightly longer footprint there um and then of course for another 10 bucks well another 10 bucks over here you can get like a, a t4 where everything's locking on here so you want your your Phillips head. There you go, and it is locked. So, um, I'll take this over non-locking any day. Um, same for the one-handed knife, which is locking. Like this, this little guy there works pretty well. Um, and then tweezers, and pretty much everything else the same. With well, you get a scissors with this also so you know for 10 bucks more you can go with with something like this so why did they make it I don't know it's kind of weird um, it's very back to basics like they kind of market it as a uh, you know back to their roots back to the basics but they've evolved since then they've made better things um, so just begs the question, but I, I would love to hear if uh, want if this really appeals to you over these. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd want to know the reasons why, and well, maybe maybe some of them are legit. Very stiff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my take on the bond. Um, it it does everything okay. It's very stiff at first, obviously. Um, but with nothing locking on here, um, I'm, 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 seems like there's better choices out there. So, just my take on that. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, please uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, hit that notification bell. And uh, as always, have a good day. Thanks.